Hi everyone, it's Mark Rep, Technology Trainer of Port Huron Schools, and I'm back with another tech tip. Today we're going to take a look at Think Central and how teachers can pull interactive whiteboard lessons from the Think Central website for math expressions and then put them into Easy Teach, also known as RM Easy Teach Next Generation, open them and then be able to use them on their interactive whiteboards and ultimately save those lessons for later use. I'm going to show you how to do that today. First, a couple of disclaimers to get out of the way. Number one, this should be done during the intervention time. And two, the lessons that you're going to take a look at in Think Central were originally created for smart boards made by a company called Smart and using software called Smart Notebook. And although they can be opened in EasyTeach, some buttons and pieces may not function 100% properly. So check each slide of the lesson before you use it in class. Okay, with that said, let's log in to Think Central. Notice that the first thing you need to do is go into the resources section and pick your grade level. I'm going to choose first grade. Then the next thing is to click on the button directly above interactive whiteboard lessons. It will now take me to this page. You'll see two buttons, Smart Notebook and Promethean Active Inspire. The one that works best for our district is Smart Notebook. So I'm going to click the blue button to download interactive whiteboard lessons created in the Smart Notebook format. Then, under Grade, I'm going to click my grade. And then you'll notice that immediately the units come up under Unit. And as soon as I click the unit number, it then brings up all the lessons that correspond with that unit. Now I'm just going to choose lesson number 8, which is Partners of 10. And then as soon as I click on that, it brings up the blue Download Lesson button. I'll click on the blue button. And if you're in Google Chrome, the default download setting is that the download shows up over here in the bottom left corner. What I'd like you to do is click on the little arrow at the right. As you click on this, instead of just randomly opening the lesson, what you should do instead is go down a little bit further and click on Show in Folder. This will show you all the downloads that you have in your Downloads folder, as you can see. I cleared out all my downloads before I did this demo, so I only have one file right here. And as you can see, it's a notebook file that was created with Smart Notebook, and it was created for a smart board. Well, in our district, we have Eno boards made by Steelcase, but the Easy Teach software that we use we'll still open this lesson. So now I'll show you how to do that. We know that the file is in Downloads, but if it would make it easier for you, you can right click and put this right on your desktop by clicking Copy. I can minimize all the windows that I have open, and I can right click and choose New Folder and create a brand new folder called Interactive Whiteboard Lessons. Now I'll drag that folder so it's easy to find double click to open it and since I copied I can now paste the lesson right into that folder and all subsequent lessons I can also put in this folder notice that the lesson starts with MX all of the lessons that you download from Think Central will start with MX they will then have the year they will have the unit number and the lesson number that corresponds with that unit so we know that this is unit 1 and lesson 8 now, to open it up in EasyTeach, we first need to go to EasyTeach and find it by clicking the Start button. And now I'm going to type in Easy, because EasyTeach is spelled E-A-S-I Teach. As soon as you type in E-A-S-I, EasyTeach Next Generation rises to the very top of the menu. Now, to add it to your shortcut menu, just right-click. And I'd recommend that you choose Pin to Start Menu. So I click on that. And now, the next time I click on the Start button, Easy Teach shows up at the top portion of my start menu. If I want it to go even higher, I can click, hold, and drag it all the way to the very top. You can also see that there's a little jump list here of all the lessons I've opened in the past. So it takes a few moments for Easy Teach to open, and it may ask to do an update, but you can just close out of that window. You don't need to do an update right now. But you'll notice that there's a recent documents section here, too. This will show all of the recent lessons that you've opened in EasyTeach. But the first time you use it, you can just click Skip. Now, to open the lesson that we downloaded from Think Central, click on the E menu in the bottom left corner. Then, click the Open button, and now you'll see the Open window. 
And remember that I saved my folder to the desktop, so I'll click on Desktop right here under Favorites. If you left your download in the Downloads folder, you could just click here. You can see I actually copied and pasted it into a folder called Interactive Whiteboard Lessons. But either way, just click to open the lesson. Double click if you want it to immediately load in EasyTeach. So I double clicked, and here's the lesson. Now over here at the left in EasyTeach, if you've never used it, it's always wise to click this double arrow to either show or hide the side panel, which will show all of the slides within that lesson. As you click on the little white slide, the thumbnails will appear. So you can see that this particular lesson has six slides. Now initially, these buttons will not work. As you can see, when I click on a button like this, there's a lock directly above it, which means I can't move it. But there are two ways to make this interactive, so that students could come up with the whiteboard pen, or you, the teacher, could click on these buttons, and they would become interactive. To do this, there are two methods. The first method is to come down here to the bottom and click on the Play Mode button. The Play Mode button is a star with an arrow attached to it. When I click on that, now the button is usable. As you can see, I can click on the buttons, and it becomes an interactive lesson. Now I'll return back to the first slide, and I'll show you another way that you can do this, which I like even better. Going back down to the bottom left corner to the E menu, click on the E menu, and this is a good view mode that I would recommend. If you click on view modes, it's good to get into the habit when you're ready to show an easy teach lesson to choose presentation mode. So again, that's view modes, presentation mode. As soon as you click presentation mode, it makes it full screen and all of the buttons are now clickable by either the teacher or the student. When you click on the button, you can see that it's now an interactive lesson. You'll want to go through each slide just to make sure that everything is working. Now to close out of the lesson, just go up to the top right corner and click on the X. This closes you out of full screen view and now you can save the lesson for future use from within RM Easy Teach Next Generation. Click on the E menu and click Save As. Save the lesson into a folder called Interactive Whiteboard Lessons or whatever you'd like to call it. And then the next time you return to Easy Teach, you'll either find the lesson here where you can return to it, or you can go to the dashboard and return to it from here. Either way, the lesson will reopen in RM Easy Teach and you can continue where you left off. And that's a look at how you can download interactive lessons for math expressions from the Think Central website and open them in Easy Teach Next Generation with students and then reopen them. I'm Mark Rep. Join me again for another tech tip.